Good. Good. Morning. I need this. I just did that. I'm pretty... Yes. Well, I'm doing it. I'm home. Oh, yeah, you weren't home for the last breakfast stream. Yeah. That's true. I did it with Jepson. Mm -hmm. Now you are home. Uh-huh. What's that like? Good. <laughs> Good! I mean, that's the answer that we want. Good is better than eh or bad. These are good things. Hi, everybody. How y'all doing? I mean, I'm glad I went to Florida. I talked about it on my stream last night. I'm glad you went to Florida, too. You got a chance to see your... I mean, you got to see a lot of your family. But you got, yeah. but you got a chance to see um, your grandma. Uh-huh. And I think that's... I don't want to be like, that's the best part. I got to see Carly and Kyle. Yeah. Um, they were only there for two of the days I was there. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, Mark and Rhonda, as they own the house I stayed in. Um, yeah. And my grandma. And then I got to see all three of my dad's sisters. Give me the bird. All of my aunties on that side. Yeah. So you really had a... A busy... I got to celebrate with family, which I don't know the last time I celebrated with, like... My dad, let alone, like, my extended family. You got to celebrate your birthday with family. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, you just left that out, and I was like, it was Mal's birthday on Saturday. Will there be so. a Mal vlog? I filmed one clip. We went to an orchid show in, uh, Travers? No, I don't know. Where were we? Imagine... It's a, a big orchid show. Imagine, if you will... A scenario in which you are married to the longest running uh, daily vlogger of all time. Where is this Who place? has been Who's doing it for, for 15 years. And you go uh, away from him for a week and you film one clip. You told me I didn't have to film. I did. But then I went to an orchid show in a pop cut and I was like, I gotta film this. One I did. There not... were orchids I've never seen before. They were wild. One thing I didn't. My do, grandma liked it. Yeah. One thing I didn't do is I didn't. Um, I didn't ask any of the Muncie crew to film. Oh yeah. I didn't ask them. And yeah. if they didn't, that's fine. Yeah. But if they did, that'd be cool. Yeah. Well, it's too late now. Well, I I, I very deliberately didn't ask them. I was like, I'm not gonna ask them. If someone remembers to do it, if someone's like, oh, this would be neat to film, then neat. And if they don't, then, like, whatever. So. Me, Mao, and Haley were here for the eclipse, but everyone else... Uh, what did we do for it? We went and we looked walked outside, outside at it with our glasses. We walked outside. And, um... I planted tomatoes. And I thought about Little Shop of Horrors. Okay. <laughs> Free mayo juice soaked Frank West figurine in every box. Tiny Eddie's crunchy imaginary irate rings. Oh. That's what Smeevy Beard says. I'm going to try and sleep to this stream. The eclipse yesterday ended with me having a severe day long panic attack. So I'm hoping to unwind a little before I try to sleep. Good vibes, please, and thank you. I'm sorry to hear that. That sucks. Yeah. Um, good vibes. I don't think. A mayo juice soaked Frank West figurine will help, but maybe crunchy imaginary irate rings could. That's just, I think we call those angry onion rings. <laughs> angry onion rings. Angry onion rings. I think that's new at Outback Steakhouse. The angry Aussie rings, mate. Anyway, Evie Breeder, good vibes. We have other things that we can read. We should probably read some of these yeah. things. We got 46 months from the Bassoonist, 26 months from Shattered Muse, 18 months from Belladonna Prince, 59 months from Darkness Pride, 61 from Penguin Frog, 27 from Starlight Rose BT, 4 months from Neither 307, 53 months from Rider Book Ninja, 30 months from Shadow Place, 22 from Sacadamus, 9 months from Shane the Destroyer. We got 36 months from Master Wabbit. Congrats on the three. 17 months from Amaya A. 
Three into bits from Tricky Anthony. It says, good vibes this Tuesday morning. Short version is I'm losing my job due to company closure. The state government lost the money I sent them, and I still don't have my tax return. Can I please get a what? I mean, break. Good vibes. Good vibes. That's a lot. That is a lot, and I hope that your uh, the rest of your Tuesday is looking up. Hope the rest of the week looks up for you, because that's that's many things at once. Yeah. We got uh, 39 months from GA Studios, 41 from Tokenoot, 43 from Starbloom Fay, 53 from Epic DXX. Uh, three to bit from Dishnet, who says, "Morning, guys. My dad needed to have his appendix yeeted this morning after going to the hospital as a precautionary measure last night. Good vibes and best wishes for a good recovery needed." Good vibes. Good vibes. That is not the first, like, older adult that I've heard get their appendix lately. Get it like, out. Like, yeah, normally it's like... Get it out. Get it... Not... You say, you're sorry. You said get I'm an appendix. I'm words tonight. That's to, not, to that's not the first time God. an older adult has got an appendix. <laughs> Put a second one in here. Um, like, normally it's like a 20-year-old, 30-year-old thing to get out. Like, if you're 20 and 30, like, that tends to be more common. Yeah, yeah, it's not impossible, but yeah, the the percentage chance of getting of having your appendix out like sharply declines yeah. after your thirties. So, uh, well, I'm glad that they you know caught that and figured it out, and I hope the recovery goes well. Recovery is pretty short, thankfully. Yeah, with that, it's um, not too bad. Ever since we learned how to make tiny hole. For a long time, did not know how to do tiny hole. Could only do big hole. But then, at some point, they were like, what, what, what if tiny Camera. hole? Camera. Yeah. And now that we have tiny hole, recovery a breeze. We got 500 bits. <laughs> exactly, Haley. That's why I planted tomatoes during a solar eclipse yesterday. We got 500 bits from uh, W. James MCI. It says, if anyone can explain why people want a Waffle House stage in Tekken 8, that would be great. Because it's Waffle House. When I saw this, and then I also saw that, like, the series uh, producer was responding on Twitter, uh, like, like, why do, why is it that Americans want this in the game? I was like, oh, it's so great. It's so great. So if you didn't see, people have been asking um, the series producer of Tekken to put Waffle House as a, as a fighting stage, and uh, he actually had written on Twitter, like, why are why is this? So people have been trying to explain to him. And if you're not from, a, if you if you live in the states, you probably understand already. And if you don't understand, if you live in the southeast, then you don't live in the southeast. Yeah. Um, there's just a lot of great fights that happen in Waffle House. Like if you go to, I mean, I guess you could find it on on like. YouTube, I would go to like World Star Hip Hop, um, but go and find like Waffle House fights. There's a lot of fighting that occurs. A lot of a lot of Waffle Houses have like um, security, hired muscle. Anyway, I don't know. Like a <laughs> Noah. <laughs> It's 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 a great place. It's like one of it's it's one of my favorite um, restaurants as a concept. So anyway, that's why it would be such a funny Scroll thing. Up. Someone had a good comment. Uh, Captain Gaspacho said Waffle House is simultaneously the number one tell of a natural disaster severity and the American melee stage. Man, that's, yes, that's true. Because the Waffle House Index is a thing. Yeah, the Waffle House Index is, is how America knows how much trouble the natural disasters were. Is if the Waffle Houses are open. That is real. You can Google that. Anyway. We've been to a level yellow Waffle House. It was fun. Yeah. It was a fun experience to, you know, to do that. Anyway. We had 41 months from Enrobed Twang, 50 months from uh, Shinoth, 56 months from the YOLP. Uh, Dishnet, gifted a sub to the Kubliest. And we have a thousand bits from Murmur with a tiny eddy that's dropping right now. 
Feel delighted from your head to your chest with Tiny Eddie's Saffron Carpet Fluffies. It's only head to chest because saffron is so expensive. <laughs> it would it would it would cost too much money. Uh huh. Uh, Murph says, Tiny Eddie, I have yet to have breakfast. What should I have? What if you just scrape some of that carpet lint and throw some saffron on it? I mean, you would have to add spices. Saffron is a spice. I know. Oh. It's very early for you. I'm saying you would have to add some sort of spice to want to eat... Carpet lint? Carpet lint, yes. Um, I don't think that I would be willing to eat carpet lint on its own without putting something on it. Costco sometimes has saffron, and I think about buying it just because it's saffron, but I have no reason to buy it. There's not a reason. Like, if you want to get saffron, you should buy it from Costco. It's very... um, it's very cheap, comparatively. Apparently, it's fifty percent off at Penzi's. Oh, you'd I can pro- make you'd paella. Prob- you'd probably still have to check if it was cheaper from Costco, just because who knows? What shall this be? New environmentally friendly ice packaging. Tiny Eddie's Earthy and Lavender Violin Muffins. It just melts. The packaging just melts when you're done with it. It's a thousand bits from the Jep Dog. It's Josh's mom. It says, new environmentally friendly ice packaging. Tiny Eddie's Earthy and Lavender Violin Muffins. You could make a muffin in the shape of a... Uh, violin. Of a violin. I think that'd actually be very sweet to do that for, like, someone's r- recital. Violin recital? Violin recital. You bring them some, maybe not earthy muffins, but, you know, some sort of muffin. Or a cupcake. We could be eating a cupcake right now. Oh my god, we could. What are we doing? You want one? Yeah. Okay. Bye. I'm gonna go to the store. Will you bring up a um, napkin as well? Yeah, I can do that. Okay. Thank you, Josh's mom. She was on my street last night. For inadvertently reminding us that we have cupcakes. Now it's going to the store. The store is the fridge. <laughs> we we love a good um, we love a good fridge. Coffee. She'll be back in a second. Uh, we had uh, three hundred bits from Cheeky Anthony. It says also shout out to me for constantly confusing my good vibes emote for my D's nuts emotes. Slightly different vibes. Just a little bit. Not, not exactly the same thing. We three into bits from Jay Lineback says, Well, Ramadan is finally over, so now I can rest easy. And hey, it's that guy who was on Japanese TV for four seconds. Fancy seeing you here. What was it? What was it? Foreign Country Man? It's me, Foreign Country Man. I can't believe it was only for four seconds. Four seconds. I know. We just didn't. You weren't interesting enough. Well, we didn't say what they needed for their story. Look at this. So, um. What one do you want? Whichever one you don't. They're yours. I want vanilla. Okay. Oh, wait. <laughs> take the vanilla and put it on this plate, and then take your plate. So Mal got home on um, Saturday night. Saturday night, and when she got home, I had um, cupcakes waiting for her because Saturday was her birthday, and even though she I was put a candle in it for myself, even though she was traveling, um, I wanted you to have something. You were too tired to eat a cupcake that night. Oh, I was also too full because um, my aunt Mary made tacos. Yeah. Quick anecdote, yeah. the tacos were not spicy enough for me. <laughs> I had to put hot, I had to put Cholula on my tacos because my family didn't make them spicy enough. Character growth. I know. Anyway, um, yeah, so she made tacos and then we had um, cheesecake. We had gone to Publix 
and uh, they had a raspberry cheesecake and the crust was chocolate cake and then it was covered in a chocolate ganache and had raspberry syrup or like in it uh -huh. and then there were raspberries on top and then like more chocolate on top so it was everything I love like cheesecake raspberry and chocolate mm -hmm. that's why we didn't get the the cake even though they had the cake there that I like there is a very specific cake that Mal likes at that, Publix. That Publix sells. And the plan is, once everyone is back in town, we're going to get that cake. Mm -hmm. And everyone will come over and eat the cake. <laughs> really good cupcake. Yeah, shoot. Mm -hmm. You have a plate. I know, I fell off my hand. Oh, you, you derobed the whole cupcake. Mm -hmm. See, I keep it in its sheath. I see that. Yeah. That's my strategy. Everyone's got to have a strategy. See, my mouth is not big enough to bite the cupcake in one go. Mm. So I take the bottom off and eat that, and then I have, like, mini cupcake. Yay. That was great. Good. Really great. Very sweet for this morning, but it is. But still very good. Raisin toast in Tekken 8. 1500 bits from Darvicus. You know how amazing that would be? Mm-hmm. To fight people in the Waffle House and hear, like, the actual, like, songs from Waffle House? Special lady taking orders at the Waffle House. Special lady taking orders at the Waffle House. <laughs> She's amazing. I don't know if people know how they do orders at Waffle House. Haley. Very Mr. good. Mr. Death Kills too. Playing referee at Waffle House. <laughs> Haley. God. Like I'm talking about what Padawan Becca says. Also how they call it out. Yeah, there's an entire system. <laughs> There's a whole system about, there's like a square they have to stand on so that the cook knows where to hear it from. And they say like, oh, pull two, drop one. Yeah. And like, it refers to things. And then they set up the plates for the orders using condiments. So they'll have like a jam packet and based on where it is on the plate, whether it's upside down or whatever. Haley says, yeah, if you've gone there, you learn that the system isn't necessarily <laughs> yeah. known by the staff. I know, but it's fascinating. And when I was, before Noah came to visit, uh, I'm pretty sure I sent him a video on it. And I was like, Noah, you need to know this because they're going to quiz you on it when you get there. <laughs> they make you make your plate. <laughs> you have to put the condiments in. If you get the wrong food, that's on you. Um... Yeah, there's a whole system, but it, it's true. But generally, also... <laughs> it's funny, I'm using this cup this morning. Generally what happens is um, when you go to the Waffle House, you either receive some food you didn't order or don't receive food some you food ordered. you did order. Mm -hmm. Literally every single time. So, you know, just... Just be okay with, like, getting some yeah. something different. Yeah. You know, when you go there... Because it might be your turn to get something different. You never know. Uh, Darbicus, thank you. And also, I am really hoping that we get a Waffle House stage. That would be amazing. I would consider buying the game. Hash were free. Ninjas all agree. Nothing beats Tiny Eddie's Bagel Wrapped Sloth Puffs. Ah, my new favorite cereal. 1050 from Anissa says, Waffle House Index, nat Natural Disaster Measurement, Big Mac Index, How Badly the U.S. Dollar is Beating Another Economy. Yeah, I don't know why in America we use 
um, <laughs> restaurants. Anything but the metric system. <laughs> that really is America's slogan, isn't it? Metric! We got Waffle House and McDonald's. I don't know... <laughs> I don't know why we need anything else. <laughs> Bagel wrapped sloth buffs. You have to eat them slow. Of course. <laughs> also, I'm realizing that if a... A large bowler the size of a small bowler. I'm also realizing that if you had bagel wrapped cereal, that the cereal would be pretty big. <laughs> Can you imagine, like, you take a bagel bite and you just shove, like, <laughs> one corn pop in, in each hole? Thank you for that throwback, Cosmic. <laughs> that's, that's a lot. That's a whole lot. Uh, Give me the bird. There we go. We got 28 months from Devoid Art. Appreciate it. Three bits from Radio Dread says Clown Tess. I missed the space last time. It killed me. I'm sorry. I'm almost done with my coffee. I'm I had to. With my coffee. I had to drink. I, I had. To... <laughs> you win. I, I, uh, I drank a lot more because I ate a big sweet. It was the same amount of coffee in the same cupcake. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the fact that normally my coffee in the mornings lasts longer than this. Oh, I but see. But because I ate... I see now. Anyway, saffron is a spice. <laughs> Tier 2, gold toast for Kaylin Lux at 67 months. Appreciate it. 16 months from Duke Du, 12 months from Tech Absol. Congrats on the one. We got 16 months from Cookie and Pie Guy. 500 bits from Shia says, speaking of devs, Yoshi P, director for Final Fantasy XIV, announced that they were delaying the new expansion by a week. The reason? So people can play the Elden Ring DLC. What a legend. That is really cool. I mean... When big releases uh, recognize other big releases, I feel like that kind of makes sense, honestly. I feel like that's just a, a useful thing, because mm -hmm. there's a lot of people that play a large variety of games, and sometimes those games come out too close together. Haley says, since being friends with you, I learned I don't like it when desserts are referred to as sweets, and I can't tell you why. <laughs> Sorry. I refer to them also as desserts, but I also refer to them as sweets. I, I think, think it's your way of saying a snack, but sweet. Yeah, yeah, maybe that's it, because, like, a dessert... To you is like a baked thing, like a cake. Or... Well, no, I think a dessert is a is a meal. Mm. If I'm gonna have a dessert, a dessert is something that I have after dinner. Okay. But a sweet is something that I can have any time. Because if I if it was in the middle of the day and I was like, I'm gonna have like a couple M and M's. If I'm gonna I'm gonna have a dessert, I'm like I'm not gonna. That's not a thing. A dessert is like a subset of dinner. That's how I feel. Basically, I'm gonna have myself a little sweet. Anyway, I'm sorry to make you physically cringe, Haley. <laughs> I might get that for my mom. It kind of feels like a like a Deborah thing that I've picked up. Were you showing off the stuff you bought in Japan? Y yes. At some point, without me? Okay. W I think with you. No. Because this stuff wasn't here when I left, and the Nintendo Dream magazine was not here, and the, the thing. I mean, I showed a lot of this off in Japan. Okay. Some of which you were there for, some of which you might not have been yeah. there for, but, like, I did show it off. I, I don't think... I never... Like, I, I put these on the shelf on Thursday, mm -hmm. but, like, I didn't... Okay. talk about them but i've talked about them before like i went to pokemon center and bought plushes and there they are they're cute uh we had uh 64 months from missing no leader uh three bits from bella donna prince says i'm getting my sister a nintendo switch for her birthday so i can finally beat her at rainbow road i'm gonna take her to harry potter world next year for her birthday what 
it's nice. I mean, even the beating part is nice, like... So, it's, it's nice to, like, you know, have, uh, someone to play games with. Yeah. And it's also, you know what is really nice is having someone to, like, compete with. It's not that fun if you're playing against someone and they always win or you always win. It's nice when you can have, like, pretty equal love. It's nice, like, I don't, we don't play Mario Kart a lot in our free time. At all. We, not ever. But when we did our competition, like, it, it's so even that that's what makes it fun. Anyway. Oh, and Belladonna Prince also clarifies because she finally got into Harry Potter. Well, that'll be nice. It'll be a nice little mm -hmm. vacation. I want to go... It wasn't open at the time. Universal Studios Nintendo Time Japan Land was open, but the Donkey Kong uh, thing wasn't, wasn't open, open yet. yet. As far as I know. Let's go back. <laughs> I mean, at some point. At some point. Uh, the other thing... There's no active date plans, but there is like, what about this? Yeah, I mean, I, I would, I would, I would like to go. I mean, we will go back, yeah. right? Like we've we've went a few times, and I'm sure we will go. Yeah. Back again, um, but yeah, that is not really a spur of the moment. No, it's not. I've been I've been working. I'm almost done. It'll be done today, unless there's a terrible act of God. Um, I'm almost done with the next vlog, March 14th. So, it won't be released, like, after stream, but, like, later today. It's, it's coming. It's very good. Um, I'm so glad that so many other people filmed things, because it's been fun to use... Look at all their footage. Yeah, mm -hmm. and see what they, they shot. Like, Alex shot hundreds of clips. They're all, like, four seconds. Oh, mine are, like, similar. Um, but that, sometimes that's very helpful because that provides, like, some additional context. Like, there's, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of clips that I'm like, this is useless. But you have to shoot a lot to wind up with some things that are useful. And there's some that are like, you know, if I didn't have it, it wouldn't matter. But yeah. the fact that I do have it is like, oh, well, this can, like, paint a little bit more of a picture of, like, moving. Yeah, Thomas, your clips are great. <laughs> I've seen three of Thomas's clips, and they all start in portrait and then flip the landscape. <laughs> yeah, that's because they all do that. <laughs> all of them do that. It's his... That's his... <laughs> Thomas's signature. That's his signature. Yeah, that's how you know. Yeah, it's, it's fine. It's fine. I'm working on it. <laughs> Trying to figure out, honestly, you know, Thomas, you know what the most difficult part of editing March 14th was? It's like figuring out where your clip goes. That's going to continually be the most difficult part of every day. Is like, is, is Thomas shoots a clip and I'm like, God, where do I put this? Where does, because it's so jarring. It's fine. Anyway. On the plane. Thomas says, I filmed a clip on the 14th. You did. You did. Anise, they do have timestamps, but like when they're being filmed simultaneously, like our playing clips versus Thomas's playing clips, like they have to go. Like, which one? Where does this go? I mean, timestamps literally. I know, but solve like. Solve that. Sometimes you ignore timestamps, though. Yeah. Sometimes you ignore timestamps if it makes more sense to put something out of order. Mm -hmm. The the hardest thing for me though is that um all of the all of the all of the timestamps are wrong. Oh, yeah, that too. All of them. And that's because all of the timestamps are like well, some of them start in Eastern and then sometimes they were Eastern for a bit and then they like they changed to Japan time. And because of that, trusting the timestamps is a little difficult. Uh, <laughs> so, 
my philosophy has been to like use them as like a general guide. Like a general a little bit of a guide and just go from there um, several people when they gave me their footage grouped them by day which was really helpful so you know like Alex and Brandon and Ch Ch Chaz kind of um, those are all grouped by like day so it's like okay well here's a folder for 315 316 317 um, Alex's are a little wrong some of his footage is out of order in a way that I don't understand mm -hmm. Like, there's definitely a clip from 315 in the 314 folder, and it's it comes at a time when we're still in Raleigh. Like, and I'm like, how did the... Anyway, I don't know what's wrong with his footage, but that's another... I was When I was editing it, and I was, I was going through, and I was like, okay, here's us in Raleigh, and here's us eating food on the flight to Japan, and here's us in Raleigh, and I'm like... <laughs> cool so i had to just kind of i had to wing it a little bit it's coming together pretty well yeah the other thing is that uh march 14th the last one that's um back and forth because like we are jumping back to chaz's footage in japan and that can be disorienting and the the following day when we're actually in japan then we're in Japan and like everything's happening at the same time so it'll be easier to do maybe I don't know we'll see where was I uh, we had 23 months from Capricious Collector 30 months from Casper Stone Nature uh, 49 months from Juliet 27 uh, 300 bits of mem tablet says a lot has happened since I last saw the two of you on breakfast stream may I get some good vibes please my grandma's health has deteriorated and she may only have not much time left here good vibes good vibes good vibes I know that that can be um, that can be a lot. Mm -hmm. That can be a lot. So we will wish uh, her good vibes, and then also you and your family as well. So, and we also have—is this a bird? a bird? It is a bird. A bird. What beautiful bird is this? Is it a puffin? No. Well, what is it? I don't know. Kinda looks like a puffin. No. Vagabond says a toucan. Yeah, a I wouldn't say some sort of finch. What's a puffin look like? <sighs> Not that. But it's like puffin-esque, right? Kinda like puffin esque. It's like in the same. That's very similar. <sighs> Mal just showed me a picture of a puffin, and Merlin. I'm like, that's looks very close. Oh my god, Mao is on her bird ID and is trying to put in the colors of the cartoon bird. They're accurate. I mean, they are. Like, it's closer to, like, this nuthatch. It's totally closer to a puffin. No, it's like, look, there's a chickadee. It's close to the chickadee. But that's got orange feet and an orange bill. Like a puffin. Steven, it's a puffin. I mean, it just looks a lot like a puffin. Magma junkos says it's are a junko. all gray. Aren't junkos solid gray? We're gonna learn about birds. We're gonna learn about birds right now. Those 500 bits from Gamers007 to below. <laughs> with, with an entire discussion worth. Of birds. Okay, it does I kind don't... of look like a junko. We have dark eyed junkos here. And those um, are, I'm pretty sure, are solid gray. It's They're not. Okay, cool. Sure it's That's a junko. The only person who can really know is Chaz. Yeah. Because Chaz can pull, like, the bird database of the images, and when he finds out it's named, like, puffin.png. <laughs> It'll be like, but that one—that one had like little white cheeks, which is why I thought chickadee. And it wasn't quite chickadee. It's fine. It's totally fine. <laughs> Chaz is a Java pretty. sparrow. Java sparrow. Hmm. 
Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, that's a Java Sparrow. That's definitely a Java Sparrow. Also known as a Java Finch. Take it from me, the guy that was pulling for Puffin, that's a Java Sparrow. That looked exactly like a Java Sparrow. However... Uh-huh. What app do I use? Merlin Bird ID. I do want to point out that it's pretty close to a Puffin. Merlin Bird ID is free. It's great. It's a, it's a cool app. It's a really cool app. You can, like, hit identify by sound and it'll show like it'll listen and tell you what bird is chirping yep it's great you can identify by picture and you can do like a little quiz and be like well the bird is this big it's these colors it's in the water and it'll pop up and be like oh well this is an anhigna yeah it's a very very cool app and it's free so highly uh recommended whether you're a bird person or you are just interested in what is making that sound i was sitting in my office with the window open yesterday and i was yeah. like huh that's an interesting sounding bird so i hit it it's like shazam but birds and it was like oh that's a it is bird it's shazam. A wren. that's right it it is bird sh i didn't think about it that way but that's a really good way of putting it shazam but for birds <laughs> Gold Mage says, I can tell you were in Florida recently if your go-to example is Anhigna. I was showing my family the app, and there was an Anhigna sitting there with its wings out. Yeah. So. Oh, I have a question. Yeah. Can I see your phone in the app? Yeah. I want to see if it does a, um, there's two things I want to know. No, no, don't open the app. Oh. Where is it on your thing? I don't know. Oh. I had to search for it. Uh bird yeah can you long press here you can okay so here's my question yeah my question is is one of the the drop down things start sound id and it is which means you could make oh the button you could you could make a shortcut yeah you could make a shortcut i mean yeah i guess if you had an iphone 15 you could dedicate one entire button to start sound id but like you could do a lot of different things. You could put it on the lock screen. Well, I was saying the, the button, the, the button, the action button. Yeah, like on okay. the, I just said that. Oh, okay. I said on the iPhone 15, which has the button, mine dispenses saffron is what I use mine, oh. mine for. That's neat. Yeah, I didn't think about that, but like, that would be cool. You can make a little thing. Renee says, start making bird noises and see if it can identify you. I wonder if it could identify my dad. Oh, my, yeah, my your dad, dad does do really good bird noises. Yeah, he'll be outside and he'll just, he'll hear a bird and then he'll just start talking to the bird. So. Thunderstriker says, what does your button actually do, open camera? Um, yeah, I have mine set. <laughs> you know it does. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, some folks don't, like, keep, keep up with... Um, like technology rumors, which is a normal thing to do, to not do that, but I uh, read them every day. So um, there's a lot of evidence, like it's more or less confirmed, that the next iteration of the iPhone, the action button is coming to all models. So like the, even the base model, like 16, will have an action button. But then I think it might be all models or the Pro. For the Pro and the Pro Max are gonna have another new button I think my dad has the Pro Max. The, the, there's another new button that's being added on the same side as the lock button, and it's just for capture. Mm. And it's it's uh, touch capacitive. So, like, it works how a shutter on a camera would work. So, like, if you half press, it would focus, and if you full press, it would take the photo. Yeah, it's amazing. I'm actually now jealous, right? Because Mal still has the 12, so she'll be getting a 16 this year. We're getting into this, like, refresh cycle. Or like you're one year and then me and then like I tend to update my phone more often than you. Yeah. So yeah, having physical buttons is great. It is super great. I love that. But uh yeah, I only have the one extra button. It sounds like when Mal gets a phone this year she'll have that button but then also the capture button. I want small phone. Uh no one did, so they stopped making them. 
They should bring back small phone. You didn't even get small phone. I know, but now I want small phone. Oh my God. When you had the option, cause you have a 12, uh -huh. the 12 had a mini version. But I wanted camera. Oh yeah, you couldn't get 12 Pro Mini. That didn't that's what exist. I want. That will. That's not a product. That's not going to happen. There, are, the the market share up for small phones is so small that almost all of the companies have been like, nah. I think Asus makes a flagship tiny phone, and that's it. That that's it. Apple jumped out of that and they're like, no. They did they did small runs for the 12 and the 13. Mm -hmm. uh, no more. Sorry, everybody. If you really like small phone, I feel bad because um, not enough people did. So they don't, they don't do, they don't do it. Yeah. But the action button's great. <laughs> Definitely in favor of, of uh, some physical buttons on on the phone, um, especially for the fact that like, for me, I wouldn't mind having some more tactile feedback because my phone is a camera, and I use it m more as a camera than anything else. So like, if I could get more buttons, oh that'd be great. I'd just be able to feel and know what I'm doing. That'd be so amazing. You know what I turned on on my watch? You know like the uh, the this this you can do yes i turned it on more what so does that mean you can do like a fist grab and like move through all your menus i turned that on is that do, do you do you use that i just turned it on like two days ago okay it's just this seems like a lot instead of just I mean, there, I guess there's applications in which you only have one hand free. Like if you're yes. like riding a bike or something. Yeah, exactly. Although you could... Trust me, I've ridden my bike and I've been like, oh, I want to switch the song. And you're like moving, so you're trying to like... Yeah. Yeah, okay. So instead I can keep my other hand on the handlebar and I can... See, look. Oh. Interesting. Yeah. And Mal's doing that, and it's cycling through the, uh, what do they call them on the uh, Apple Watch? Haptic? No. No. Complications? Complications. Yeah. As she does that, it goes through the complications, and then she fists, and it it selects it. Okay. <laughs> I'm using gyro <laughs> controls! Come here, sweetheart. Yeah. Um, Come here. Neat. Neat. I've always loved, I've, I've always loved tech. It's always been something I've been interested in. You made it halfway, um, come on. And it's it's what? it was on it was only like me. I don't actually know why I got into interested in technology because like my parents aren't tech people at all. Like we didn't have a computer until I was like ten or something. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> No one introduced me. I just <laughs> fell into it myself, I guess. Hello. Hello. Hello, little man. Hello. How are you? Tired. He says, I so laid down. I laid down right here. We got uh, 33 months from Purple Link, 33. Hey, golden sub. 30 months from Kit Khalid, 65 from Ultra Husk, and 46 from Swishy Head. Little guy. Little sweetie. He's a good one. Yeah. Um, so before I forget, because I will totally forget, there is no game stream today, because we have an appointment that we couldn't move, yeah. so we have uh, something else to do today. But there will be a game stream tomorrow. Um, I am... I'm going to be playing Loco Roco tomorrow at 1 p.m. I really hope I can finish it. That would be cool. <laughs> that would be really neat if, like, I can beat it. Because, um... I want, there's other video games I want to play. <laughs> there are so many. Yeah, I can't wait to play. <laughs> Literally, I've already played this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
literally done an entire Let's Play of this game. So maybe not that one. Maybe <laughs> maybe that's not the one. Pick a Switch game. Persona 3. <laughs> Can't wait to play Persona 3 Portable. Um, I didn't even know I owned that. <laughs> I pulled that <laughs> off the shelf and I was like, what is this game? Did Noah pick? We own a lot. There's a lot of video games. Sometimes they enter the home and I'm like, how did this get here? And I was like, you. And yeah, I'm like, what? very few are me. Um, yeah. Well, the ones that are you are like weird PS2 games. Yeah. If you find like a weird PS2 game. Anyway, there's a lot. There's a lot of there's a lot of games um, on my list. I still want to like work through and play. So I, I Loco Roco is fun and very carefree and it has great music. If anyone missed the first stream, it's out on the VOD channel, so you can watch it. It is like some of the best music in any game. It's wonderful. Um, I uh, I had to take um, Haley somewhere on Sunday, Sunday, and a Loco Roco track came up on my playlist. And I was like, oh yeah, I get to I get to play more Loco Roco soon. But then I do want to like finish it because I have other games that I wanna I wanna I wanna play. And there's a Loco Roco too, but I've never like played it? I've never played it. Mm. Maybe someday. DJ Sherbert asks if they're gonna just be on the VOD channel or put them to plays. Uh I d I don't know. There's my plan is probably to keep it on the VOD channel. So if you're waiting for it to come to Steven Plays, I wouldn't, I wouldn't keep waiting because you might wait forever. Um, sometimes whenever I stream a game, I have like plans ahead of time of like, oh, this is going to come to Plays, and Loco Roco was not one of them. Loco Roco was like, I'm just playing this for fun. Um, there's other you want to because I want to. There's other games that I want to bring to. Um, to plays. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do next. I have, I have, there's a few, there's a few games in the running in my head, and, uh, I don't know what's going to win. I bet it's, I bet it's going to come down to how I feel next week. It's just going to be a gut feeling, and then we'll go from there. It won't be Xenogears! It will not be Xenogears! <laughs> Shane says, how much Starfield is left for plays? I have no idea. I, because I, I'm not the one that uploads that. Like, Dan, I give the VODs to Dan, and Dan cuts it, and uploads it, and schedules it. Like, because of that, I, I, have no, I don't even know. Like, I have no clue. I have not looked at it, so I'm not, I'm not sure where we're, where we're at on that. What's more likely, Persona or Xenogears? Probably Xenogears. Just because I think it's shorter. But what, but like, they're both very close to 0%. Very close. Very, very, very close, very close to 0 Uh We had 27 months from uh, Renaison. Thank you. So you're saying there's a chance? Uh, no, no, no. I don't. Don't get excited about that. You know what I'm excited about? Tell me what you're excited about. All of my garden seeds shipped yesterday or this morning. That is exciting. Yeah. Mao has done a layout for her summer garden uh -huh. this year, and it's varied. It is there varied. are some things that are the same. There are some things that are new. Mm -hmm. A lot of stuff is new. Mm -hmm. I know I said I planted tomato seeds. I'm starting those indoors. Do you want to tell them what you're planning on planting? Yeah. So um, I'm going to build a trellis, an arched trellis out of a cattle panel. And I'm hoping I get that Saturday. We'll this see. is what we've agreed on. We, we made an arrangement with a person because the... The it, cattle panel is 16 feet long. Yeah, and as it turns out, the, the Subaru is not 16 feet long. That's weird. Well, you can, fold, you can fold it. You can curl it into a teardrop shape. And even that doesn't fit in the Subaru. Yeah, it, that's too big. I'd have to do it into thirds, and I don't think it can go into thirds. Yeah. 
So, um, anyway, I'm gonna do that big arch and I'm gonna grow peas on one side and beans on the other because they both vine. Yeah. They vine up. And then, um, and it'll be tall enough for me to walk through in the middle. You'll probably have to duck. And then I'm gonna do four tomatoes, two big ones, one one for sure the Cherokee purple we had last year. The other big one is gonna either be another Cherokee purple, a Mr. Stripey, or a Dark Star. Yeah. Depends what I find at the garden center, because I ha those are things I I'm going to buy as a plant. Yes. And that's not gonna be till later April. Do, 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 do. And then um, the last tomato is the purple tomato by Norfolk Produce, which is... Um, and it's called the purple, the purple tomato. tomato. And those are what I planted yesterday during the solar eclipse. Yeah. So it's someone who's worked with... Um, they've extracted a certain DNA from snapdragons, the flower, and put it into tomato to make them more shelf stable and to have more antioxidants. Yeah. And they're very purple. So I'm growing those. And that's what I planted yesterday during the solar eclipse um, to start indoors. They're in my office right now. And then I'm growing uh, a honeydew melon, radishes, parsley. I want to grow parsley for caterpillars, for swallowtails and monarchs to bring pollinators to the garden. Okay. So it's not, I mean, we could probably eat some of it, but like it's mostly for the caterpillars. Okay. And then um, corn. <laughs> yeah. Casper says, what about the tomato flavor? I think it's supposed to be really good for the purple tomato. That's what people have said. This is the first year they've offered it um, to home gardeners. So we're gonna see. Yeah, we can grow. Okay. I'm not growing much corn. I don't have enough space to grow a ton of corn. Yeah, I mean, no, you do, you do every one. Uh -huh. Sorry, fine. you can eat everything else. I mean, I can eat the corn. Yeah. I just shouldn't. Last night we were talking about Mal's garden plants. She was showing me everything. And she's like, you could eat like one corn as a treat. And I was like, as a treat? I'll be sick for 48 hours. Real, real sick. As a treat. <laughs> Matt was like, I'll eat a peanut butter cup in solidarity. We'll both be super sick. I was like, this sounds like a terrible plan. Why would we do this? We'll just both be like, ah. I'm gonna maybe like not do that. Um, Sorry. I do, I do. The, that's the thing though. I like corn. I know you do. I like peanut butter. I mean, at least I think I do. When was the last time you had peanut butter? Probably high school. Okay, so 20 years. Jesus, it is 20 years, isn't it? Yeah, it's been 20 years since you had peanut butter. You're not sure. At I least, had, uh, I had corn recently. My allergy panel is at the end of the month. <laughs> I, I had, or actually, the last time I had a straight up ear of corn the last time was when we were in Florida with Mark and Rhonda. Yeah. I remember that really vividly because that was that was the last time that my brain was like, what if corn? What if corn? It can't be that bad. And it was so bad that I was like, never again. Never again. I thought I'd be okay. Because I remember even at that meal, I was like, I'm not supposed to have corn, but. I'm gonna have I'm an gonna ear. have an ear of corn. Because I love corn, and I do, and then I ate it, and I was like, it's fine. And then, not long after, for a while, it was not okay. So, um, yeah, I've learned my lesson. It's not, like, corn's cool, but, like, it's not worth suffering over. There's so many other foods to eat. I think there's some other foods that do somewhat similar things to me that I don't eat very often. I think peas might do that. Not to the same degree, but, but like, I don't eat peas Well, I'm very growing often. snap peas. The kind you eat the whole outside. Yeah. Yeah. I guess we'll see. We had uh, three into bits some swishy heads. Says, as a longtime Tulip fan, I'm so happy that Moon is now on Steven Plays. That said, watching episode one for the first time with a head cold was certainly an experience. I lob booed. Uh, I'm glad that Moon is finally out, or starting to come out on Steven Plays. Because, um... 
Tulip is one, it's very strangely one of our more successful Let's Plays, mm -hmm. which is odd because it's so niche, but I think a lot of people that gave it a chance fell in love with it. Yeah. And I think those same people who give Moon a chance will also love it. Um, and then if you are someone that ends up watching Moon first, you will really like Julep. Yeah. So. Yeah. And I gotta tell you, and I, we talked a little bit about it before, but like it was it was really wild to go into the uh, the secret Nintendo cafe, mm -hmm. and one of the pieces of art on the wall was Moon. Yeah. Like signed by Kimura. Mm hmm It was like, ha, hmm, neat. Neat. <laughs> neat. So. Yeah, and Echo Tree Keeper says, Tulip is how I found you guys. There's quite a few folks, I think, that found the channel through Tulip. Um, so, I'm happy about that. And yeah, we're, we, at the time, it's probably changed a little bit in recent years, but at the time, I, at the time we might have been like the only channel that had a full mm -hmm. Let's Play of Tulip. Um, yeah. Because there were some, like, I think Game Grumps started yeah, it. they and, started And it. they gave up. Super quick, because they're yeah. like, this is hard. Pretty sure they never got to the factory. I can't remember, I don't though. know that they got out of the first town. Mm, well, there's, like, the the east and west town. They got to the west town, I'm pretty sure. Oh, did they? Yeah. So, um, yeah. And th now it's going to be a similar situation with Moon, where we have a 100% playthrough of Moon. Mm -hmm. um, and that's exciting. You know, hopefully we can introduce more people to that game and bring some more attention to some of those old titles. Yeah. With the ultimate goal being that they would consider localizing um, the other... Lack of Love and... And UFO. UFO, A Day in the Life. Yeah. 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 Stray Children, though. At least we're getting that. Yeah. At least we're getting that. I have not seen the Fallout show. Renee says, Dita would like to know your thoughts on the Fallout show. I've seen the production photos and I'm impressed, but I haven't I haven't watched it. I think they just signed a thing for another season, which is cool. Did we show off LOL and UFO? Mm, I don't know, grab them. I don't know where they are. I put them on the shelf. Oh, you put, did you put them away or just? Well, they're just sitting on the shelf. They're, they're, since they're Japanese titles, I didn't mix them in with the other ones. Oh. I meant, did you put them with their systems, or is there just a stack of games to put away? No, they're with the systems. Okay. There's Lack of Love, and there's UFO. So, yeah, I, at some point I'll, like, open them. They don't need to be closed. Hi, sweetie. Or sealed or whatever. Oh, he's flipping. Oh, we're leaving? And they're we're not, they're leaving. not sealed as in new. Yeah, they're not new sealed. In Japan... And they do this for so many games in Japan. They reseal them, not to fake you out, but like because it protects the games. Mm -hmm. So they tend to do that at most every store. Yeah, I need to say, now where's LSD? Ha ha ha! Maybe. Maybe at some point. Well. You just had food. If I ever find LSD at a yard sale <laughs> in America. Yeah, that's not happening. It's Japanese only title. The pinnacle in disgusted food, Tiny Eddie's Sticky Minotaur Shortbread. I don't think that's really the pinnacle. Anything that's shortbread <laughs> is not bad. That's a bit from Fossick says, traveled 2.5 hours west yesterday to see total solar eclipse, and even though the clouds obscured most of totality, it was worth it for those 30 seconds. Can't wait till the next one in 20 years. Glad you got to see it. Is that when the next one is? 20 years? Yeah. Oh, no. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. In North America. Oh, well, you could go... It goes through Florida, doesn't it? Swiffer Sweeper says it's in 2044, but only Montana and North Dakota will see it. 2025, California to Louisiana. Oh, so two years back to back. Yeah. Interesting. So 20 years, and then we get two. Yeah. Well, that's kind of nice. 
Totality is great. In, in like 2070 in something, I think, or 2060 something, it's going to hit Raleigh. In 2060? Something like that. I will not be a lot. Maybe. I would be 71? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> My family doesn't have a lot of longevity, so like. Your dad's side does. Yeah, he is a little bit. There was multiple people that hit 100 on that side. Not... What? Not recently! No. Uh... Methuselah Ariel lived did. to be a thousand! What? Ariel did. Great-grandma, great-great-grandma. So one person. That was the most recent one. <laughs> Trust me, I'm, I, I don't kid myself about what my family's like. <laughs> like I'm, I don't, I don't. I'm, I'm aware. I know, I know what, I know what my, <laughs> where my finish line is. It's fine. Um, yeah. Uh, the if if you if you haven't seen Totality, having seen Totality, how many years ago? Twenty seventeen. In twenty seventeen, having seen that, and then just yesterday. Yesterday, going outside and looking at <laughs> like seventy like, to eighty percent. It was a it was a fair bit. Yeah, it's like not the same. It's not the same. It's not the same at all. So like, if I now now I'm giving you like twenty years notice, but in twenty years, um, it's worth traveling to see totality because it's completely different. It's yeah. not even at it's not even remotely the same because when because we had like seventy eighty percent. It looks weird outside. And but when you it's put the not... glasses on and look at it with the glasses, don't look at it with your regular eyes. Yeah. Um, Use your special eyes. <laughs> behind glasses. Yeah. Special glasses. Um, like, it looks cool, but it's, I promise you, it's way different. Yeah. And you can, I think it, you can watch the uh, the vlog from 2017 and get a feel for it. But, like, it becomes night. The everything gets dark. All of the animals that come out at There's night start. There's a hole start, in the sky. Like, like it's 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 completely. I'm sorry, Thomas. I'm sorry, Thomas. Um, it's completely different. Yeah. So, the reason I bring this up is I've talked to some people. I talked to Josh actually. Josh is one of the people. I convinced him to go to yeah. Indiana because I was like, "Did you see the last eclipse?" And he said, "Oh, we saw partial." And I was like, "It's not the same." Yeah. It's not the same. It's like it's just not. Tech you know. Absol says I had the same experience. 100% in 2017 and 98 yesterday. Definitely odd, but not at all the same. Yeah. So, Josh was on the fence about whether or not to go because he had just gotten back from a two-week trip. Yeah. And he's like, I don't know. And I was like, You should go. You should go because it's it's only it, it's a short time away from home, and it'll be something that's super cool that yeah. you will remember. And um, and he did. He went and he said it was super neat. And he tweeted about it, and then you made it an album cover. I did. I I loved doing that. I, it's because sometimes you see, mm -hmm. sometimes you see uh, a photo, and like you just have to, you have to do something to it. Mm -hmm. You just have to. You have to. Mods can feel free to put that in the art queue. I think it might already. Is be it already in the queue? <laughs> Vagabond says it's in the queue. A step ahead. Thanks, Vagabond. Um, anyway, Fossix, thank you, and I hope that you got a chance to, uh, you know, even if it was 30 seconds, you got 30 seconds of it. Uh, yeah, so, this is, this is obviously edited, mm -hmm. but, um, I guess it was, my assumption is it was Chaz that took the photo, because there's Someone another, took it. there's another photo with, uh, Jeff, Jeff also in yeah. the, fo the photo, so I took this and I made it into a fun album cover. This is a very fun edit for me. Because <laughs> we, we call that, since the three of them live together, we call them Triforce, Triforce Boys. And uh, that was fun. I really enjoyed making that. I, I definitely did stop working to make that. I was working on stuff and then I checked Twitter and I was like, oh, that kind of looks like an album cover. And then I did it. And then I was like, oh, I need to go back to, to work. So it was it was fine. It was it was worth it. I'm allowed. I'm allowed to to have a little fun. Have sometimes. a little fun sometimes. I'm allowed into Photoshop occasionally. 
Uh, okay, um, that's it. We're gonna end here. As a reminder, um, no game stream today. Well, did we not roll? No. Oh my god. <laughs> Whose power, wisdom, and courage? We've had that discussion before. <laughs> We're not gonna say anything, <laughs> but I am super curious. <laughs> Between Brandon, Dan, and Josh, who is who? Who is who? Chill days, Brandon is definitely wisdom. Dan is power, Josh is courage, Brandon is wisdom. I like how everyone is immediately like, Brandon is wisdom. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you our opinions. Although the fact that literally everyone is like, Brandon is wisdom. <laughs> is like, well... Um, Dan is power because he has to be stopped from overthrowing the government. Fair. Yeah, Brandon has big wisdom energy. Um, <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, there's no so no game streams today because uh, we have something else that we have to do. But tomorrow, 1 p.m. Eastern, I plan to be here on this couch uh, playing playing, Loco playing if not finishing Loco Roco. I got just about halfway through the game. There's five worlds and I got like two, two, I was done with like two and a half. Okay. So, I might go I might go a little long tomorrow just to ensure I finish it maybe. So I can just start something new next week. What's going on tomorrow otherwise? Oh, this is my hair. <laughs> I was like, "Oh, there's a cat hair on me because it's white." Nope. Okay. Nope, that's just I mine. Cancelled. Okay. Vagabond uh, asks Zelda on Friday. Y yes. Y yes. Yes. We talked about something, but I need to maybe double check. I don't know what we talked about. I don't know. I... We're not talking about it right this second. Okay. Well, I don't know. <laughs> my assumption is yes. My assumption is we're doing Zelda Friday, because I don't see why we yeah. wouldn't. Uh, Disc Only is not tonight. Because Dan doesn't get home until later. So, Disc Only is probably next week. Probably. But yeah, Friday. Friday Zelda, probably. Friday Zelda, probably. 300 Bits of Shy says, when Chaz is away, the beans will stay in the queue. <laughs> I just forgot. Um... Which is weird. I've never forgotten anything else in my life, so that's very odd. Y'all have a good. Uh, Y'all have a good Tuesday. Um, since I won't see you until tomorrow afternoon, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll do some loco roco. Yeah. Oh, and there's one final thing. Um, all of the vods. Don't tell Jazz. All of the vods that like have needed to come out. They're all scheduled. All of them. Like, all of the stuff from Japan. Um, we were super behind on Zelda stuff. Like, I, it's all done. Chaz was like, don't work on any of the VOD stuff. Focus on... Vlogs. Vlogs. And I was like, okay. And then I just did whatever I wanted, because that's... That's, <laughs> that's, how I, that's how I work. 